Hi, and today I'm going to show you how we can use the photo gallery or the photo library in Office 365. First thing you need to do is make sure that you've installed the app onto your Office 365 site. If you haven't, it's just the same process. We go into Add App and we're going to click on Picture Library. Uh, we then give it a friendly name. I quite often call this Class Photos because I use this to store a lot of the images that my class takes. So for project work, for example, I quite often, because I can't always keep their physical project, I get them to take pictures of it and then upload it to here and then I've always got a copy of it. Um, once you have added the app, click on Class Photos or whatever you've called it on the left hand side of your site and that will take you into the Picture Gallery option. Um, there's two different ways to upload your photos. If you've got several to upload, then you can split screen and just drag and drop them and uh, a box will come up and you let go and all the photos will then start uploading. Or we can click this button here, new picture, and then we can browse our local photos uh, for the picture we want. Um, so I'm going to click browse and I've got some origami pictures here that my students created the other day. I'm just going to click on one of them and click open and then I click OK. If you are uploading a new version of a document, you want to click Overwrite Existing Files. If you don't think you're going to be overwriting anything though, it's worth not having that option clicked because it might delete something you wanted to keep. So this now goes about uploading that photo, it gives me a preview and it also gives me the option to change the name. So I might want to call this Origami for example. Um, you don't have to change that name, but if you wish to, there's an option to do that and we can give it a title and a date the picture was taken and all that kind of thing again that's completely optional you don't need to do that once you are done you're going to hit save and it now uploads the picture and inserts it into your class photo or the picture library or whatever you've called it and it's now there for everyone who's got access to the site to see so they can now see the origami work that the students took part in last week and that is how I use my class photos or the picture library in Office 365